Furthermore, waste chemicals from bauxite production have been discovered in the Demerara River and its tributaries. Besides its rivers, Guyana's groundwater resources are also being polluted. Furthermore, the groundwater is removed faster than it can be replenished and is being displaced by salt water. Given these threats to water supply in the Caribbean, and since some countries are already experiencing water scarcity, steps must be taken to better manage our water resources. One specific strategy is integrated water resources management. In the past, you would only have water professionals deal with water, and that is in a very isolated way. What integrated water resources management calls for is really an integrated approach whereby there's a lot more consultation with partners and stakeholders so that rather than focusing only on development in terms of water infrastructure, you look at the ecosystems and there's a balance between human development or water for human development and also water for the ecosystem, which is a delicate balance. So you would imagine you will have participation from all the different stakeholders to ensure that it's done in a coordinated way and it's in a balanced way. With this in mind, the Caribbean Environmental Health Institute along with the United Nations Environment Program has set up a rainwater harvesting project in Grenada. Rainwater harvesting basically involves capturing rainwater and collecting it into large containers where it will be stored for use in everyday activities like drinking, washing and cooking. These systems usually consist of a rooftop harvesting surface, a system to transport the water to a cistern for storage, and the means of distributing the stored water, either by gravity, by drawing using bucket and rope, or by a pumping and plumbing system. We take the water from the roof, comes across into this and what we have is a pump that we when we put the hose to the tap we switch the pump on and it just pumps the water and then we have the drums that we catch water from still from the roof and we use that for watering the plants and and doing whatever we have we have to do outside and we also use this water for the washing machine Rainwater harvesting has been practiced for many years in places like the Grenadines and rural parts of Guyana. However, the UNEP and the Caribbean Health Institute are hoping that the knowledge gained in the project in Grenada will encourage other countries to adopt rainwater harvesting as a form of sustainable water management and conservation. Over on the mainland of St. Vincent, the Central Water and Sewage Authority has established a new water treatment plant to help meet the needs of the growing population on the western side of the island. We had a number of small sources, about six small sources scattered throughout the area. Um, they were built since the late 50s, early 60s. They're old, pipes are old, undersized. The supply was threatened by agriculture, the quality was deteriorating. So those are the main reasons for the project. The plant is designed to treat up just over a million gallons per day. The water comes from about a quarter mile upstream, where we have just a simple run, run of the river intake and flows by gravity, gravity to this point. It's all gravity, all our systems in St. Vincent are gravity systems. This is no exception. Where the, the water is, 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 is harnessed from the river is at an elevation of just over 1,100 feet or so and the said tank is around 950 feet and the storage tank to the bottom is around 850 feet. The entire project took us about four and a half years to complete. Other projects have been set up across the region to conserve and manage our water supply. For instance, the Barbados Water Authority contracted a private company to build and operate a desalination plant in the parish of St. Michael. The plant treats brackish water from nearby wells to produce safe, potable water for up to 20% of the country's population. This facility helps Barbados to better cope with water shortages. The Guyana government has also put in place efforts to deal with water scarcity through its development of a water safety plan. 
The project tries to identify, manage and remove any risk of contamination to the country's drinking water. The plan makes use of a strategy developed by the World Health Organization to help suppliers of drinking water improve and maintain their water quality. Managing and conserving our water resources should not only be the responsibility of our governments. We as ordinary citizens can do a lot to help prevent water scarcity. For example, just by turning off the water when we brush our teeth or shave, a family of four persons can save almost three gallons of water a week. And if you reduce your shower to five minutes, you can save as much as 1,000 gallons of water a month. We have always said in the GWP that you know you have to look at the habits at home, um, how you dispose of your refuge or garbage, how you dispose of, of your wastewater, if you are running a small business, how you dispose of that effluent um, that comes off your business. Um, you have to first treat your effluent so that the rivers are not polluted and also you'd have um, environmental sustainability on an individual basis. Don't throw your garbage in the rivers. You would not clog up the drains. Do not cut down the hill slopes if you're doing farming. Um, conserve water, um, dispose of everything safely and you'd be able to see that difference in the longer term. Let's not take it for granted that because we live in the Caribbean, we will always have enough water. As this video has shown, water scarcity is a real threat to many of the islands and countries of the region. So let us all do our part to use water wisely and better manage and conserve what is perhaps our most precious natural resource. Mm -hmm.